In this video, I explain closed cycle gas turbine power plant by using this animation so you will understand it easily. So first we compared a few points of the closed cycle gas turbines with the open cycle then you will understand it easily. So as we know that in open cycle gas turbine power plant the fuel is mixed with the air in the combustion chamber okay, so means uh, in open cycle air coming from the compressor is supplied to the combustion chamber and in the combustion chamber this air is used to burn the fuels okay means air and the fuels are mixed in the combustion chambers okay and the combustion gases are expand in the gas turbine means the combustion gas is produced in the combustion chamber is supplied to this gas turbine okay and these combustion gases are causes of erosions and corrosions of this turbine blade therefore it is necessary to use fuel superior quality in a combustion chamber in order to minimize erosion and corrosions okay because in the turbines we supply this combustion product okay due to this combustion product there is a chances of erosions and corrosions are if we want to minimize the erosions and corrosions then we need to use the superior quality of fuels in a combustion chamber superior means the good quality of fuels in a combustion chambers so this negative effect is overcome in a closed cycle gas turbine power plant so how they are avoided in a closed cycle power plant that we understand here so in a closed cycle gas turbine power plant the same air or the working fluid is circulated over and over again means the combustion product is not circulated in the full system okay only the working fluid the working fluid may be air helium organs or a, some other working fluids are used in a closed cycles okay so combustion product is not circulate in all the components only working fluid is circulate okay so due to that erosions and corrosion chances are reduced in a turbine in a closed cycle power plant so working medium is not mixed with the fuel but it is heated by burning of fuel in a separate supply of air in the combustion chamber and transferring this heat to the working fluid which passes through the tubes fitted in the combustion chamber so here you see these four components are there here in a closed cycles in open cycle only three components are there okay and in, the, in this combustion chamber in the open cycles the air and the fuel are mixed means this is a direct combustion is there okay and here in a closed cycle air or other working fluid is used and this working fluid is passed inside the tubes in a heater or in a combustion chambers okay so this compressed air or some other gas is passed through this tube and the combustion of a fuel is carried out outside the tubes okay so it is one type of the heat exchangers okay so the air pass from this tube is absorb the heat energy from the combustion product okay so it is a indirect type of the heat exchanger are there means the working fluids and the combustion product are not mixed okay and the working fluid is continuously recirculated in this four components so here the erosions and corrosion chances of this gas turbine blades are reduce the working fluid does not come into the direct contact with the product of combustion okay why they are not come in a direct contact with the product of combustion because the working fluid is passed inside this tube and the combustion product is outside the tubes the other disadvantage of the open cycle plant is that the turbine exhaust is discharged to the atmosphere and resulting in the rejection of heat of exhaust gases to the atmosphere okay so in this diagram of the first diagram is for the open cycle these exhaust gases is directly supplied to these atmospheres okay so there is a loss of heat energy are there in a case of closed cycle these heat are recover in a heat exchangers or a coolers okay so here you see after the turbine we install the one component its name is the cooler why its name is cooler because they reduce the temperature of the exhaust working fluid coming out from the turbines okay and for reducing this temperatures of the working fluids some cooling water is supplied in the cooler and the, then after cooling water is out okay 
means the working fluid coming out from the turbine is pass inside the tubes and the water is outside the tubes so water is absorb the heat energy from the working substance so temperatures of the working substance are reduced and this working fluid is supplied to this compressors now before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to the power plant engineering and other subject of this mechanical engineering for more video i request to visit the playlist of my channels or for the power plant engineering various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a card a schematic arrangement of closed cycle gas turbine plant is shown in this figure so i not directly show you this image we can see one by one animation so you will understand it easily the working fluid so which working fluid is used it may be air or any other suitable gas such as helium argon hydrogens and the neons okay so any one of the working fluid is used either we are able to use the air according to this our plant designs or the capacity we may use the helium argons hydrogens and the neon it's coming out from the compressor means this is the compressor in the compressor we supplied the air or it may be helium argon hydrogens or neons and then pressure of this working fluid is increase in the compressors so isentropic compression process is carried out in the compressor then after this working fluid is supplied in this heater or it is also called as the heat exchangers because there is a heat is exchange between the two medium okay so one medium is our working fluids and the second medium is the combustion product okay and this process is carried out at the constant pressure in the heaters okay means this working fluid is heated at the constant pressure so any process in the heat exchangers are considered as the isobaric means constant pressure process whatever the subject you are studying for supplying this heat energy to the working fuel we supply this fuel and air here and the combustion of the fuel and air is carried out and this combustion product is pass outside the tubes and the temperature of the working fluid is increase and this exhaust gas out from the heater is supplied to the atmosphere or some other process heating the high temperature and high pressure air coming out from the external heater is pass through the gas turbine means outlet of this heater means this point 3 is connected with the turbine so high temperature and high pressure gas coming out from the heater is supplied to this gas turbine and this gas is expand in the gas turbine and the rotor inside this gas turbine at start to rotate means mechanical energy is produced and some quantity of mechanical energy produced by the gas turbine is supplied to this compressors and the some quantity of mechanical energy is supplied to this generator and in this generator this mechanical energy is converted into the electrical energy the working fluid coming out from the turbine is cooled to its original temperature in the heat exchanger called as the cooler using the external cooling source before passing to the compressor means this exhaust coming out from this gas turbine at the point 4 is connected with this cooler so from the name we can understand the functions of the cooler that's to reduce the temperatures of the working fluid so temperature of the working fluid is not reduced by themselves for that we are require some other mediums for that cooling we use the cooling water so cooling water is supplied to this cooler and the working fluid is passing inside from this tube and from the outside cooling water is that so cooling water is absorb the heat energy from the working fluids and the temperature of the working fluid is reduced and this working fluid is supplied to this compressors and this temperature of the cooling water is increased so it is out from other sides of this heat exchangers in the closed cycle the working fluid is continuously circulated through compressors so here you see in this diagram it is the completely closed diagrams okay so working fluid is passed from this compressors to the heater then after to the turbines and the cooler without its change of phase means in this component the phase of the working fluid are not change okay that is in the gas state then the gas state is that they are not come in the liquid state in any components the require heat additions and the rejection taken place in the heater and cooler respectively so in the heaters the working fluid gain the heat energy and in the cooler the working fluid is reject the heat energy 
So thank you for watching this video. If you learned something, then like the video, subscribe my channels, and don't forget to share with your friends.